Yeah, by the way, I'm a big Fates fan. I don't know much about Armored Saint, so we can talk about it, but yeah. just I'm just letting you know. I, no worries. We can talk, talk Fates all day. Sure. Cool. Let's do Fates. Greetings, folks. Jason from Jason Video Music Tokyo. I am here at the 2019 NAMM Show in front of the ESP booth with a dude who I met under the funniest of circumstances a couple of years ago. I'll let him tell you about that. This is... Joey Vera. How are you? Now, Joey Vera, as you may or may not know, is from two bands, one I'm a particularly huge fan of. The other band, which there's nothing wrong with the other band, is Armoured Saint, with the mighty John Bush, former Anthrax singer as well. God damn, that guy can yeah, sing. Yeah, amazing, amazing vocals, yes. And you can bloody sing too, mate. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a yeller. <laughs> yeah, but like you actually sing harmonies, like there's no one else in Fates that does that. Uh, sure, I try to pick up all the harmonies, uh, me and the guitar player, Mike, so yeah, yeah. it's but, a lot of work. But Jim doesn't sing though, right? No, not in public anyway. There you go. <laughs> so the other band that Joey's from, which is one of my absolutely dearly loved bands, and my first album of theirs was Perfect Symmetry, for, which was before you were in the band, yep. Yep. is Fate's Warning. So let's talk all things Fate's Warning. Sure. Um, how did you end up in the band in the first place? It was a long time ago, but do you remember the story? Uh, yeah, it was uh, 96. Um, it was when Jim was uh, beginning to get ready to record Pleasant Shade of Grey. Yep. Um, and um, at that time, they the band was kind of on hiatus in between records, and Frank left the group, and the bass player Joe uh, was finding it difficult to go on tour and stuff like that. So. Jim wrote this record and he kind of was trying to put a band back together to do it. So he asked me to play bass on it and I was out of Armored Saint at that time because John was with Anthrax. So uh, I said, sure. I mean, Jim and I were friends from years ago, so it wasn't like a cold call out of the blue um, in a way. So, but I was super honored that he asked me to, to play on it. So I got together and started jamming with Mark Zonder and it was great. So it was uh, my honor to be on that record because it was an amazing turning point for the band, I think, also I at agree. that point. So it was cool. And I've been with them ever since, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, 23 years. Yeah, long time. So now, I don't recall having seen Fate's Warning come to Australia ever. Fate's Warning has never played Australia. And Japan? Do you remember the last time? Because, I mean, we met in 2016 when you were there with Armored Saint, but what about... I don't think, I don't think Fate's has ever played Japan either. It's can, a travesty. Can we get that to be repaired? I'm telling uh, you right now, yeah. you guys have a lot of fans. I know I can't speak to the Japanese market, but in Australia, there's a huge progressive scene. I believe it. I mean, you know, there's fans everywhere, and I think all this time that the music's been cycling over, as we know, through the, through the years. I know that there's been this resurgence of a lot of uh, bands that are, you know, considered old school bands, and Fates is one of those bands. A lot of these places we've never been to, they're just dying to wait to see us so we're trying to make that happen it's always a question of finances as, as always um, it's not like we are asking for a lot of money but it's hard to get a promoter to actually take a chance and say okay i want to do this i'm a fan and we'll see what happens you know yeah and that is definitely a hard one well look yeah. because this will be on record and you can go back and check this on youtube if you want to when you get out to australia i got two mates in bands that would be perfect to open for you guys one is a band called terror maze have you heard of them no, i have not sorry okay. terror maze have a phenomenal lead guitar player they're really cool they're a, they're they're a prog band but they're a bit heavier as well but they've got keys in the band too cool. the other band is a really fantastic band called oh my god silvio and, and chris are going to kill me i'm just suddenly blank hang on uh, oh my it's god on tape. It's, on tape, it's on tape this is killing me I'm, vanishing point it just came back <laughs> have you ever heard of vanishing point i don't know i've heard of them yeah yeah i have heard of them they've toured through europe they've done um I, they've actually played at uh Vakken. okay um, and they've done a bunch of European yeah. tours. They've even been out and played in Japan a couple of times. Jealous. <laughs> well, so let's tell the story about when we met. Fill them in. Oh, well, so I'm at, a, I'm in, in Tokyo for going to play Loud Park with Armored Saint. And I'm in, we're at the hotel and they have this amazing buffet breakfast spread. And as I'm rummaging through the bacon and, and stuff for my daughter, I don't eat bacon, but... Well, not on, not on record anyway. <laughs> um, this guy comes up to me and taps me on the shoulder and proceeds to introduce himself. And 
and I'm just shocked that I'm meeting someone that knows, first of all, who I am in the city of like a billion people. <laughs> 30 million, come on, yeah, yeah. close enough. But it was close. But um, no, that's, that's where we met, over breakfast buffet in Tokyo. It was an amazing, we chatted for a few minutes, it was very nice. So, and then we just ran into each other Tuesday after since then, which was like two years ago. Yeah, exactly. So, small world. And then I said to Joey, hey, uh, I wonder if you remember me? And he goes, the bacon in Tokyo. <laughs> it's all about the bacon. <laughs> Always about the bacon, man. That's hilarious. Well, look, um, what's coming up next for Fates? Do you know what's going on this year? Well, uh, yeah, we're actually going out and supporting Queensryche in the U.S. Nice. Uh, it starts March 2nd, I think, is the first date. That's the um, toddler tour front in Queensryche? Yeah, it's uh, Todd's version, uh, Todd's version of that, of Queensryche. Um, and... Uh, so it starts uh, March 2nd in Florida, goes through the whole U.S., it ends up in Seattle. It's like a five-week tour, so it's pretty long. And so Fates is doing support for that, and we're also doing some headline dates, a few of them in between, like during the show, during the tour, sorry. And um, after that, there's some rumblings about possibly starting to write more material, but that's it's not on record yet, so I don't know if that's actually going to happen. but. We, I, would, I certainly would like to do another record um, with the guys, so we're going to probably discuss that while we're together in March. So um, that's well, about it for, for Fates right now. Just in case Fates needs to take a videography team out of the road, Matthew and I are available to come out on the road. That would be perfect. Well, I mean, we're not free, but we're pretty damn good. I, I know, and uh, especially if we ever get through back to Australia or Japan, I'll be calling you. Well, and, and plus, of course, you saw our work on Tuesday night, so you know what we do. Fantastic stuff. Here you go. All right, well, this is Joey Vera from Fates Warning and Armored Saint at the ESP booth because he's an ESP bass player. And uh, keep an eye out for all things Fates and for Joey. And thanks. Great to see you again, mate. Great to see you as well. Cheers, and we'll see you soon. Rock on. Perfect.